Hey everybody and welcome back to the beginner 2D tile game in JavaScript tutorial series. So last tutorial we got animations working so our link character is running around. In this tutorial what I want to do is add a static entity uh, like a tree to the scene um, so that then we can start working on the entity manager and uh, in managing all of our different types of an entities that we'll have on the screen. So let's get started by first creating a new class or a new package. So in our entity, uh, in our entities package, we're we'll create a new folder. It's going to be called static or statics, and we're going to create a class or a module inside of there. Oops, not find file. We want to create a new file. And it's going to be a static and uh, static entity is what it's going to be. So static entity, like so. We define this taking an entity as our base class, passing along that as entity. All right. So this class right here is not really going to do anything quite yet, anything special. It's just going to be our base static entity class. We can add stuff to it um, in the future if we need to. But we're just going to create a base static entity class. So this will be static entity. It's going to be equal to entity.extend. Putting in our constructor. And this is going to take a handler, an x a y, a width, and a height. And for now, we're just going to pass all of that into the super or the constructor of the entity class. And that's going to be handler x, y, width, and height. We're quite literally not going to add anything else to this class for now. Um, we're just going to return static entity. So I believe this is it for this class. So in the future, we may add things to it, but for now, this is all we're doing. We're just taking all of the information, passing it into the entity class. All right, so now we're going to create another module within the uh, statics package, and this is going to be called tree. And you can guess what this class is. So we're going to define it. We're going to pass in uh, the static entity class in static entity there we go so the other thing that is going to happen we're going to for now just put a assets uh, variable up at the top and that's going to be assets dot get asset and we're going to we're going to create an asset in the uh, in our assets class called tree. So for now, we're just going to get the asset, um, and we'll have to put the asset in our assets um, our assets class in just a moment. So the next thing that I'm going to do is var um, red redwood. Yeah, we'll just say redwood. You know what? We don't need to. I don't think we have to do it like that. So, next thing we're going to say var tree is equal to static entity dot extend. And in here, we're going to take handler, an x, and a y. So, we're going to pass into the constructor. Um, or yeah into the super the handler the x the y and then we're going to say tile dot tile dot tile width times five and tile dot tile height times five so what this means is we have to now include the tile and we'll might as well include assets so assets and we're going to grab tile the tile class and return them both 
as so assets and oops, tile so that we have access to those classes all right and so we're passing in these uh, these right here so the next thing that I'll do is we're going to set the bounds so this dot bounds dot X will set to 62 or 65 and then we'll set this dot bounds dot Y equal to 52 now these are just numbers that I've got by playing around with the bounds a little bit so that it kind of lines up with the graphic that we have and then this dot bounds dot width is equal to this dot bounds dot height is equal to 30 we're going to set it equal to 30 there and these are just the bounds that kind of work with um, with this graphic and the size that we have so now I think that's all we need here we are going to add inside of our object here a tick with nothing in it for now in a render because there's nothing that needs to be updated quite yet with what we're currently doing so in the render we're going to say this or sorry we're going to take in the graphics object like always and we'll say g dot my draw image and it's going to take in our assets dot redwood I believe and then it will take in a uh, X which is this dot X minus this dot handler dot get game camera open close parentheses dot get X offset with open close parentheses because these are functions and we'll do the same thing for the Y this dot Y minus this dot handler dot get game camera dot get Y offset and then we're just going to pass in this dot width and this dot height so this should render it to the screen uh, at the position that we tell it um, when we create the, a new tree and it will also um, keep it in the right spot based on our uh, cameras movement so if we don't have a million errors I should be able to just go into our app.js add uh, static entity which is in app slash classes slash entities slash statics slash static entity and then the other one that we had was a tree so tree app slash classes slash entities slash statics slash tree so we've got them there I'm gonna open up uh, for temporary purposes we're just gonna open up our worlds class we're gonna add oh I already had it up there sorry we had tr we're gonna add tree up here so that we have reference to that tree we're going to initiate the tree inside of oh I just have the wrong one open I have to go down here to worlds there we go and we will add tree up here oops tree and pass it along tree now we can create a tree in the constructor here so we'll say var tree and then we'll define it in here tree is equal to a new tree passing in handler um, let's say 40 and 50 those are the positions now all we need to do is render this so we'll render it after everything else that's rendered in our world class so we'll say tree dot render passing along G all right so if we did everything right which most likely there's something I did wrong
There we go. So get asset. I did that before too. In our tree. Oh yeah, we have to create the asset. That's also correct. So we're going to go into our assets file here. And I just put a little note of how big it is for my purposes. We're going to say tree asset here. And we're going to say var tree is equal to a new assets. And it's going to be called tree. We're going to have it. It's in the resources folder slash textures slash tree 01 dot PNG. And it is 726 by 798. And we're also going to say tree dot red wood is equal to tree dot sheet dot crop and we're going to just crop zero zero and then the whole thing so two wait seven twenty six by seven ninety eight all right so now we've created the asset and fixed that one error there all right refresh and see what we've got to do now tree is not a function that's because I have to return return tree all right let's see what we got going on always errors but that's fine there we go there's a tree and it looks like it's staying in place I mean obviously we should be behind the tree but for now that's fine we've got a tree it's where it's supposed to be all right cool beans so I think that into the entity class in the next video uh, or sort of the entity manager in the next video at least for now we've got our, tr our static entity class we've got tree right waiting for us to be able to populate this whole this whole thing with trees so we will do that in the next video I hope to see you guys there